Next, we look into IPv6 address. If this is the first time you look into IP address, yes, welcome to IPv6. IPv6 have 128-bit. Colon are generally used to divide IPv6 address into 8 segments. So if you remember IPv4, we use a dot. And in IPv6, we use a colon. So this is how you separate uh, each of these 16-bit. Uh, each segment contains 16-bit and is expressed in hexadecimal. So you can see we have a D, we have a B. This is not decimal, but hexadecimal. The letter in IPv6 address are case insensitive. It doesn't really matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So the second point on IPv6 address is uh, similar to IPv4, IPv6 address is expressed in the format of IPv6 slash mask length. Example, you can see here, we use a slash 64 means that you have a prefix of 64. Uh, so this is one of the example on the IPv6 and uh, this is the subnet. Okay, colon colon slash 64. So now you have uh, some idea on how the IPv6 work. Now we look into the abbreviation because IPv6 is 128 bit. So sometimes it gets really long, very complex. So is there any way for us to shorten it? Yes, we do have. So this is where this slide show you how you can abbreviate the IPv6. Let's have a look here. In this example, we have an IPv6 which is 2001 colon 0 D B8 colon 0 0 colon 0 0 colon 0008 colon 0 0 colon 200 C colon 4178. You can see that I almost run out of breath just to read out the IPv6. So this is the tips on how you can abbreviate it. The leading zero in each 16 bit segment can be omitted. The leading means that the zero in front, you can omit it. However, if all bit in the 16 segment are zero, at least one zero must be reserved. So you can see that all these are zero, zero, zero. So you can actually uh, just put a zero there. So the tail zero cannot be omitted. So for example, here we have zero, eight, zero, zero. So this 800, you cannot remove the zero, zero behind. All right, or else then the value is changed. Abbreviated IPv6 on this above IPv6 address will become 2001 colon DB8. You can see that the zero in front can be removed. Then the quad zero become a single zero, a single zero. Then 0008 become 80800 become 800. Then 200 C 417A. So if one or more consecutive 16 bit segment contain only zero, a double colon. In this case, you can see here, the colon colon can be used to represent them. Let's have a look here. If you can see see this part zero zero you can change this zero zero because you have eight zero here you can just use a colon colon to represent all this zero we can even abbreviate this above ipv6 to become 2001 colon db8 colon colon then followed by whatever above over here so this zero zero can be abbreviated by double colon but please remember you only can use double colon once because you cannot use double colon more than once else you can't restore it into the uh, meaningful IPv6 address. So let's look into uh, another example. So before we have all the zero leading with one, so we can just use colon colon one. In fact, if you are going to use colon colon one slash 128, this is equivalent to look back address. This is a special IP address. Okay, then if you have a 2001 0db and colon colon over here, you can see that we can use the double colon. And if we have this IP address on the IPv4, sorry, IPv6, you can see that we have the colon colon over here. Now you cannot use colon colon twice. So in this case, you still have to put a zero uh, here. All right, so you cannot put double colon here and double colon over here. Then you have this IP address and after you abbreviate over here, you can also use a colon colon over here and this colon have to uh, maintain. Either you can actually maintain the zero behind or you can actually maintain the zero in front and use the double colon behind. All right, both methods just work. So I hope you understand how to abbreviate the IPv6 address. 
Now in IPv6, we also have some classification. This classification are very similar to IPv4, but there is one exception. So let's look into this uh, IPv6 classification. IPv6 addresses are classified into first is the uh, unicast. Uh, this is similar to IPv4. We have multicast. So unicast is one to one, multicast is one to many. Now any cast is one to nearest. This is the new cast in IPv6. There's no broadcast in IPv6. There isn't have any broadcast. All right, so this is how it looked like. IPv6 address. So we have multicast, unicast, and any cast. As I mentioned, multicast is one to many. So it's sent to a group of IP address that is subscribed to the multicast address. Then the unicast, you can see that it classified into GOA, stand for global unicast address. Then we have ULA, unique local address. Then you have link local address, LA, which is FE80. Then you also have some special IPv6 and other uh, unicast address. Now we are going to look into more detail, uh, especially on the unicast address. Let's start with the IPv6 unicast address format. An IPv6 unicast address is composed of two parts, just like IPv4, which is our network prefix and the interface ID. And these are being separated by the slash, which is uh, in IPv4 we call as a subnet. So this is the network prefix. So network prefix consists of n bit and is parallel to the network ID of the IPv4 address. So this is similar to the network ID. Then we have the interface ID so which is 128 minus the n n is the n bit on the network address and this is similar to the host in IPv4 so you can see that no different as in IPv4 the concept is still the same common IPv6 address such as GUA LLA require the network prefix and interface address of 64 so remember the global unique address and link local address the network prefix and the interface ID is 64 bits Remember this. So now let's look into the interface ID of an IPv6 unicast address. So there are three methods to generate the uh, interface ID. Remember, we have our prefix as well as the interface. So the first method here is the manual configuration. Second method is auto generation by the system. And the third method is using IEEE 64-bit extended unique identifier or simply we call EUI 64 standard. So let's look into it. Uh, what does this mean by EUI 64? Now EUI 64 is the most commonly used. It's convert the MAC address of an interface into IPv6 interface ID. In this example, I have a MAC address. The MAC address is uh, 3C5282497E90. But if let's say we are going to convert it into EUI64, this is how it works. First, we are going to invert bit number 7. So if we look into this 3C, we convert this bit number 7. First, we need to arrange the 3C hexadecimal. So you can see that this is the hexadecimal and this is a binary. So if we convert the 3, 3 is equal in binary is 0011. And if we look into the C, C is 12 in decimal. So basically it is 1100, okay? So if we convert this uh, 3C, which is 0011-1100. Now the first step is to invert the bit number seven. So if we can convert this, into the binary, so it's 0011100. So bit number seven is this part here. This bit, you need to invert it. So zero become one, one become zero. So that's the first step. So it becomes 0011110. So this is step number one. And second step is to insert FFFE. Now FFFE, is in hexadecimal f if you convert that into binary basically is all one all right and if you convert e into binary you can get one 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 zero what you need to do is to insert the ffe in the middle so you have to slice into half and insert this so that they can get 128 bit so once you insert it then you convert the binary back into hexadecimal and 3c become 3e so we have a 52 so this 52 is insert correctly so we have 82 here 82 ffe 
Then we have 497E9D. So this is our 64-bit EUI ID. But you do not need to worry because all these calculations is done by the system. This slide just show you the mechanic on how EUI 64 work.